Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Defense Acquisition Council DAC headed by Raksha Mantri Sri Rajnath Singh in its meeting held on 22nd December has accorded the approval for acceptance of necessity for 24 capital acquisition proposals. These proposals include 6 for Indian Army, 6 for Air Force and 10 for Indian Navy and 2 proposals for Indian Coast Guard for a total value of Rs 84,328 crores. 21 proposals worth Rs 82,127 crore are to be approved for procurement from indigenous sources. The approved proposals includes procurement of ballistic helmets with enhanced protection level. Evans accorded to equip Indian Army with platforms and equipments such as futuristic infantry combat vehicles FICV, light tanks and mounted gun system providing a quantum jump to Indian Army's operational preparedness. Indian Army on 31st January 2023 has also released an acceptance of necessity for procurement of FICV tracked for mechanized arm of Army. The FICV should be tracked amphibious having manned turret with fire control system also having fire and forget top attack anti-tank air missiles automatic cannon of at least 30 mm caliber coaxial machine gun and a stabilized remote control weapon station with 12.7 mm machine gun the FICV should feature modern protection measures including active protection system and laser warning protection measures it should be able to carry a crew of three and eight soldiers. The commercial bids for the FICV is to be submitted before the commencement of trials. The order will be splitted in the ratio of 6 to, is to 40 between L1 and L2 vendors, provided L2 vendors accept the price and terms and conditions quoted by the L1 vendor. Now we have already reported that on 22nd December, DAC has given acceptance of necessity for 480 FICV for Rs. 20,000 crore. DRDO and LNT is also working on development of an infantry combat vehicle whose model was unveiled during the Defence Expo 2022, which seems to be the front runner for Indian Army's FICV requirement. The FICV hull looks similar to the Abhay ICV, however, there has been significant changes made to it. The Research and Development Establishment Pune, the lab of DRDO, has developed a composite armored hull for the ICV which matches the structural and ballistic performance of a metallic hull but with 35% weight reduction. The hull comprises of monocoque top and bottom parts manufactured in e-glass epoxy using vacuum-assisted resin transfer modeling or VARTM process. Side walls of the hulls are provided with ceramic composite armor for protection against 14.5 mm armor piercing rounds. This hull has been integrated with automotive aggregates and associated batronies. The composite hull developed as a replacement of metallic hull of ICB away matches the structural and ballistic performance with the metallic counterpart. It is 35% lighter than its metallic counterpart. The e-glass epoxy structure with ceramic faced integral armor is applied on sites for ballistic protection. Each top and bottom parts are monocoque structures. The ICV has minimized part count. The major feature of LNT FICV is going to be unmanned modular turret made up of composite armor which drastically reduces its weight and can be upgraded in future if needed. It features a 30mm main gun with 200 rounds ready to fire and a coaxial 7.62 machine gun with 1000 rounds ready to fire. It will also have two launchers for 5th generation fire and forget anti-tank missiles. The FICV will also have 6 smoke grenade launchers. It will feature 3rd generation thermal imaging stabilized sight and laser rangefinder. The remotely controlled weapon system will feature advanced integrated fire control system for all the weapons. The vehicle will have snag level 4 protection. Now, Jains has also reported that Armored Vehicles Nigam Limited AVNL, has also proposed an FICV, which is a new design and not based on Russian BMP-2. The vehicle will feature a remote control weapon station 
with a 30 mm min gun, 7.62 mm quick scale machine gun, a fifth generation anti-tank guided missile, a 30 mm automated grenade launcher, driver's night sight, commander's panoramic sight, and can even launch lottery munition. It is powered by a 600 horsepower engine with automatic transmission and will have an overall weight of 23 tons. Their high CV will be able to carry 11 soldiers. It will offer protection up to stinag level 4 and will be equipped with a laser warning system and active protection system. The FICV will be air conditions with a blast attenuating seats and improved suspension. The Tata Motor Led Consortium has also proposed tracked FICV. Tata has also offered an 8x8 built FICV based on web platform. However, this does not fit into RFI as it clearly states that the requirement is for the tracked ICV. Other contenders include BML, Mahindra Group, Ashok Leyland, Reliance and Bharat Forge. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.